So we bought a little greenhouse. This is what it's called. Uh, it's six foot wide by 10 foot long by six and a half feet tall. Uh, the reviews said that the instructions were really hard to follow. So I figured maybe I'll put it on here. So Kara and I took everything out of the box. Everything is labeled, everything is together. The base part of it, we laid it all out, all in order. And uh, we'll see how difficult this is to put together. Yes, it does seem a little bit flimsy, but we'll see. Maybe we can fortify it a little bit. I got one wall done. It is, uh, it's pretty flimsy, but uh, I think I'll have my husband stabilize it a little better. I did want to show you these corner, these plastic corner pieces. They each have um, a hole to screw into this one. It's on this side. But in this corner, it's still on the same side. So I had to drill um, a hole, this hole, into the plastic. It was easier to drill through the plastic than drill. Oh, that would have been on the outside. So yeah, the hole is actually on this side of the plastic, just like um, the uh, other side. So a eh, little modification, no biggie. Okay, here's the five uh, gallon size bags of green beans. We're going to can some green beans today. So here's all my finished green bean jars. We ended up with 31. One didn't seal properly, so I threw it in the refrigerator and we'll just uh, eat it sometime in the next couple days. So the green beans are done. Now I'll just pick them and um, we'll eat them fresh. So these will last us uh, through the winter. We have plenty of carrots, as you can see, so I'm not really gonna do many uh, carrot jars this year. We're just gonna eat them fresh. So here's the finished product of the greenhouse. Did pretty well. I still have to tighten it up. And <laughs> I, I had it all set up real nice and then my husband hit it with the lawnmower. Smart. Uh, we just had to put some wood. Well, it's not really there anymore uh, because it was off level and I want the gutter on the other side to empty into my rain barrel that we got hooked up so I just have to uh, tip the back up a little bit. And there's this one little spot here if you can see. That's a smart design. Anyway, whatever, beggars can't be choosers. So the water just kind of pours out of here. So I got some Flex Seal tape, we'll fix it all up and then we're gonna fill this bad boy up. But it's cute. Obviously I'm not gonna use it in the summer. Don't be ragging on me, people. It's too hot to use in the summer, but here uh, about middle of August, it really starts to cool down around here some days. So I may start some seeds and just do an experiment and see how long I can grow into the season. So let's take a look at some things here. Here are the onions. They're looking really good. These are the ones that I planted from seed. So I, I think they're doing really well. I'm really happy with the size bulbs that we're getting even though it's super, super wet. They don't like their legs or their roots, so to speak, uh, wet. So when it gets real wet, sometimes they intake too much water and they get real soggy. But, uh, but there's a, there, this is, was a good experiment. This is a big difference from seed. And these are from the bulbs or the sets that I got. So the sets are all finished. They're ready, probably, I could probably pick these about now and dry them, and they're not super big. Uh, one year I did get really big. They got real big, but uh, the weather was pretty dry. So I'm real happy. You can see that the tips are starting to get brown. That's a good thing. The tops are starting to die off. As the tops, the green parts, the tops start dying off, they're gonna force energy back down into the bulb to do its last little bit of big growing. I mean, some of these are pretty good size. I'm happy, I'll take them. My chamomile's doing really well. I actually ordered a dehydrator so I could have chamomile. I've always wanted to do that, have some chamomile tea. And my dill heads. I'm gonna start making some pickles as soon as these cucumbers come in. I think it's been super wet. And uh, I don't know, you can't really see this guy. Look at this guy. 
Oh, I'm almost up in the sky. That sunflower's so big. It's just starting to form a head up there. It's so big. Looks really good though. I'll take it. That, uh, this is Russian tarragon. Just kind of a little all-purpose herb there. My chives still going. My hydrangeas have a little owl because we had a little vole problem. I think we've contained it. Got lemongrass, the summer savory, thyme. Basil needs to be cut. We gotta do this. So busy around here. That's why I haven't posted a video in a while. The cilantro, I gotta get these babies done. These babies taken care of before uh, they go to flower like they did in the back here. Uh, what else do I got? Oh, my little rosemary. Little rosemary. Here she is. Little boy. This is lemon balm. Gosh, it's and it came back from last year. It's like taking over. <laughs> Looks good though. Smells real nice. You rub your hands on it. Here's my sage. I really want to take some of these stalks and uh, dry them out. Uh, the parsley didn't really do much this year. I was kind of bummed about that. The oregano is hanging on. It's starting to, well, it's definitely going to flower, but it's really pretty. Some of my cucumber vines are starting to die off. I really think it's just been so wet. And I, oh well, I did plant some more because I'm like, let's just fill it up. Let's do it. The sugar snap peas, they have hit the end of their life. Now, uh, if you've seen some of my past videos, I let these dry out. Boy, the bugs are bad. I let these dry out and I shuck the seeds. And I have done this for, this will be the fifth time I've done it. So just let them get all really big and let them dry out right here on the vine. Uh, I got some cucumbers. These are the Ashley cucumbers. I do like the size of these. I think these will be fine for pickling. Because some um, brands that I've gotten of varieties, they uh, have been way too big. My and these are my pickling cucumbers, and look at how short and stout they are. Not super impressed, but I really think it's the weather, honestly. Um, I think my loofahs got choked out, so I might need another uh, cattle panel trellis. And let's try to walk through here. Carrots, I'm going to start picking the carrots. We're just going to eat these, like I said. The potatoes, they're getting ready. I'm going to let them fall down, die off. Then we'll have a potato har harvest video. Dill's done. I've been picking green beans for weeks. Weeks and weeks. So I did, obviously you saw my canning video. Ooh! Well, that's a nice banana puffer. Jalapenos are coming in. Oh, look at, look at, look at that bell pepper. Oh, nice. Can you find that there? Yeah, I got a really, it's, I'm trying to get in here in between the rain. And look at my flowers. They're so pretty. Finally coming in. My kohlrabi, it uh, met its life. <laughs> it got big enough, about the size of a baseball, so I cut it all out. And uh, there's one last kohlrabi trying to make it, but I'll just let it grow. And I pick them all out. Oh, got to pick the zucchinis. Every day I pick zucchinis. It's crazy. Peanuts. Peanuts, uh, they're supposed to be like a big bush, but I think the placement, the uh, zucchini is kind of shaded them a bit. I wanted to show you. Oh, maybe you can see it from here. If I can get close enough. Let's just take you on a little, oh, there's some acorn squash. Oh, look at those beauties right there. Oh, my dear. Oh, they look so good. I'm super happy. That's all I wanted. Oh, there's a whole bunch over there. They're everywhere. I'm so excited. I planted 13 acorn squash plants, so I'll take a whole bunch because I tell you what, they last months on the counter, so I can only imagine what they look like um or how long they last if they're down on a shelf somewhere in a cool dark place oh hello little bee oh i didn't mean to scare you but my pretty flowers they're so pretty uh ooh. i got some flowers on my sweet potatoes 
so interesting. You rub your hands on these leaves. The leaves smell like sweet potatoes. So cool. Uh, pumpkins, pumpkin patch over here. I got pumpkins, I got pumpkins, I got pumpkins. Ready? <gasps> There's one. Say hello, pumpkin. And this one over here. Oh, that was a Connecticut field. And here's one here. Oh, this is a Big Max, so these are going to get super big. There's another one over here and there. So I let you just grow. I'm going to start, I started uh, clipping the ends off so that the pumpkins can get real big. And the tomatoes are doing so well. You can see them. I have tomatoes everywhere. I really got to get in here and clip all the bottom leaves off so they can start really pumping some, some nutrients into the fruit. But I don't see any red ones yet. Ooh, I got a lot of clipping to do, don't I? Look at those yellow leaves. It's just been so wet. They're tired, poor things. Uh, the Brussels will go forever. I mean, look at this. I can't even walk through this anymore. Isn't this amazing? Check that out. It's so awesome. So happy this year. And honestly, I haven't had to water since the beginning of beginning of June. I haven't watered anything. And let's try to skim through here a little, a little bit. Yeah, we had a vole problem. We usually treat our grass like grub X and I never have to worry about the garden. Yes, there's a lot of grubs in my garden. I do not treat my garden with anything. But because the grass uh, got delayed, um, we had a problem and they kind of came in. Check the corn out. So far, fingers crossed, nothing has got in here to get this corn. That'll be a whole, oh dear, I can't get through. We're in the jungle, baby. Uh, one year I had skunks, but I was gonna try it again. And the ones in the end, we are getting some ears of corn. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, here we go. We're coming up, getting some tassels. And once the tassels come on the top, then we'll start, yeah. Super excited. Oh, hello. I like um, having surprise plants in places. Look at that dill. I'll use you. I can use oh, lots of dill. Let me get out of here. Let's go check out that corn. And we'll see the chickens before we go. Um, let's get behind here. Oh, I want to show you too. Well, here. I'll show you. See the tassels? Yeah. We're gonna have corn this year. Oop, there's more tassels. Ooh wee. And let's see if I can find it. So this is a milkweed plant that kind of just grew. And I left it because monarch butterflies really like milkweed because it's poisonous to most birds and stuff. Let me focus this in here. And there it is. A monarch butterfly egg. Yeah, so I'm just gonna let this be. I don't know if I hit. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at it. Oh my gosh. Bugs everywhere, flying in my face. Let me see if I can. Oh, hello, little guy. Hello. Oh, so cute. Oh, you eat the milkweed, little guy. You're gonna be a beautiful monarch butterfly someday. Oh yes, I already warned my husband. Don't pull this out. <laughs> so cute. Oh, eat up, little guy. I started staining the coop, but uh, Home Depot ran out. So I got one, I got the other side done and part of this side done. I'll show you more when it's finished. But let's go see the girls. Hello, lovely ladies. Hello. So look, all the little girls are with the big girls. Sometimes they're not so nice, but. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hello, hello? Say hello, hello. I'm a big girl, I'm a big girl. I know, you're looking at this 
stand like it's some weird thing. It is weird, isn't it? <gasps> Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Oh, you're pecking at it. Hi, big girls. What? I see the little girls. Hello, little leghorn that daddy just showed up with one day. Oh, they're all out there. Oh, it's, it's been a, a test <laughs> for sure. Where's the littles? Where's, ah, hello. Hello, pretty. Oh, I'll show you what we, uh, what we did too. You wanna say goodbye? You wanna say goodbye to everybody? Say we're getting so big. Where are you getting big? So this was the roost. We had this roost that was higher and then this roost on the bottom. No, you can't come out. <laughs> you can't come out. So once we brought the six little girls in, everybody wanted to be up on the top roost and there wasn't quite enough room. So I went out in the woods with my tape measure and found another, yes. Did I find another branch for you? Oh, look at that. So that way uh, both this roost and this roost are the same height so that everybody can spread out and they really like it. Oh, did you see me open a door? Oh, let's show everybody what we got. We finished the nesting boxes. We put golf balls in there. They think they're quite interesting. I do have the nesting pads in there, um, but I, they're not really interested in anything right now. So I uh, threw some pine shavings on top. So once they kick it all out, if they when they get in there, I'll just leave it be so they get used to it. You say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say thank you for growing with me so I can grow with you.